Okay, so just to give you a little bit of a background to this box. This box was sent to me about a week ago from a company called Jexry. Now, I've been wanting to do an unboxing since a week ago and I just never got around to it. I mean, it's been kind of crazy trying to get the family organized to get up to Kruger at Punda Maria, which is where we're at now. We're sitting in this beautiful place, shaded by all this awesome foliage. The bush has never looked this green and I think it's at its best. But I think, without further ado, let's see what's in the box. What a counter four by four ventures. Bring out the old tipa. Cut this bad boy open. Uh, Jexry, go and have a look at their website, jexry.coza. This episode is sponsored by Jexry. So thank you, Calvin, for being an absolute legend. Really appreciate the support. Look guys, the reality is, is that when we're out there in the bush, we need torches. They've sent me two torches to keep and they've sent me a demo unit with a surprise attached. I suppose I don't really know what that demo unit is, but I'm hoping for good things. Let's have a look, see. Okay, cool. So they sent me a Jexry jersey. What's in the box? An Ace Beam X70. This looks like the demo unit. Let's put that there. An Ace Beam L18 torch and an Ace Beam T27. Okay, so not big torches. They've also given the uh, battery battery charger, which is USB operated, which is really handy for when we're out there in the bush. Another USB charger, but with a port fix at the end. Looks like it mounts into the back of the torches. Right, so I think let's get straight into it. I think let's start from the smallest and get to the biggest. Okay, so the um, Ace Beam L18, let's get into it. It's not a big box as you can see. Uh, it says a thousand meters reach, 1500 lumens. I'm actually quite excited to be honest with you. Okay, cool. So in the box on the L18, we obviously get all the info regarding the L18 torch. Uh, we get a little lanyard. We get a really nice sized 5100 milliamp hour battery. It's a lot bigger than your AAA batteries. Really, really nice looking battery. It's got the Ace Beam branding on it and it's a 5100 milliamp hour. So, it's a decent, decent battery. We get a cool little pouch and we get the torch, the Ace Beam L18. I can tell you straight away that is really, really well made. I don't know too much about torches, but I can appreciate a well-made product. It's light and it's got all the grooving and cut marks and ventilation stripes. Feels comfortable in the hand. It's got a very nice mechanical switch on. It's got a little cover on the front. Let's take that off. Important, remove dust film from lens. So dust lens is off. And yeah, nice looking LED in there with a bit of a diffuser over the top. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's got a, a little belt clip that pops on and off. I would imagine to get in to put the battery in. Let's undo the top. Okay, so there we go. I would imagine the positive goes head first. 
So that's inside and we put the switch cap back on and do it up. The threading is really, really impressive. Very, very well ma machined. I believe it's an aluminium body that houses this torch. So you get a lanyard that sort of will go onto the torch to prevent it from falling out of your hand. You use it as a sling within the hand. Uh, that's also very cool. And then you get two little O-rings. So there's one O-ring there and the other one's on the floor somewhere. Uh, and you get another button switch at the back. So very cool. And it looks like it chucks out a nice amount of light. Okay, but it's the daytime. So I mean, I suppose this doesn't really count, but I can tell you from just holding it and having it on for the last three to five seconds, it's already getting warm. <laughs> I would imagine that this can get very hot once in turbo mode. I think that's turbo mode. It's very bright to look into. So that's the first one, the L18. Really nice torch. A very cool torch from Ace Beam. And yeah, looking forward to testing this tonight. Oh, I must just inform you, you get a warranty card and apparently this um, warranty card will allow them to replace lights um, within purchase of 15 days and they offer a free repair in 60 months and if there's any problems with your torch that they cannot repair they will do an immediate replacement of that torch keep your warranty cards but for now i'm just going to put that in the box oh you get five years warranty on these also just a good thing to remember so the t27 let's let's get into it different a different bit of kit or packaging okay very nice um very cool um calvin has sent a red led lens cap or filter so just to prevent you from blinding those animals uh, and it will limit the range, definitely. I would imagine it would limit the range on the T27. Comes with a USB charger here, a very nice cable, and it is USB type C. So that would be a fast charging cable. So nice, nice pouch that can mount onto your, onto your belt. So much like the L8's little brother, the L18, it is a much bigger torch. It also has the back mechanical switch, and I see it's got a battery in already. And it also has a mechanical switch in the front. There are five settings to both of these torches. That's turbo mode, and this torch has a much narrower spotlight. And I think that's why they call this the T27, the thrower of lights, because it creates a constant beam, and it throws that out, and it is, it, it's a light that just goes for um, up to 1, 1.18 kilometers. The red lens cap, I would imagine, just threads on. And again, that's a nice thing with Ace Beam. They're finishing, I mean, I'm, look at that, I'm just doing that with one finger. Their machining and finishing on these products is, is really high end. And they're a light torch, you know, it's not, they're, not, they're not heavy torches. Here's the lanyard, the Ace Beam lanyard, um, and you get a spare battery. So. There's a battery already in this. That's the two done. And what is in this big one? I have no idea. Okay, getting into the big one. It feels quite heavy. That's nice, nice carry case. And my word, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So this is the X70 from Ace Beam. I can tell you right off the bat, it's a very, very large torch. It's got all the heat curves and grooves, obviously to displace heat as quickly as it can. It's a heavy torch and it's quite a thick torch. It also uses lithium batteries to charge and I would imagine more than one. 6,000 milliamp lithium ion batteries. So it's got probably four of them in there or at least three, I would say. Doesn't do a focus on light, so it's a constant beam. There we go, okay. So straight off the bat, I can tell you that this has got a really nice center spot with a really nice fall off of light. Double quick for turbo mode. You get a little green light on the side that tells you your battery condition. You know, for size comparison, 
there's the T27, the L18, and then the X70. So a massive difference between the three as far as size goes. It's got a lot more LEDs. It's got a very nice uh, metallic reflector on the inside. It's got no diffuser from what I can see. I think um, on these much bigger torches, I think that the heat groove or dispersion grooves are cut a lot better or machined a lot better. Let's just have a look uh, what goes in on the back. Okay, so that's your charging port there. So it looks like you can do a direct charge in at the back. There's no USB on the side of this torch as with the other torches. It also has a quarter 20 screw mount here. So you can fit that onto a tripod or the such if you wanted to have it like that. It's got an O-ring here with a, with a slip disc for your lanyard. What also comes with the X70 is Again, you get your loyalty slash warranty card. Don't ever lose these. Again, this feels like a credit card. You get your ace beam, uh, you get new uh, extra O-rings inside this pack with the X70. You get your warning card on the lithium battery on how to maintain and look after it. More O-rings. What's really nice with the X70, it being a bigger torch, you get a charger for your vehicle. Um, your 12 volt cigarette charger there and you get a really cool handle so that's where the that's what that quarter 20 screw is for there's a fan that blows out cold air so this torch must get very hot you've got different modes on the, on the fan so you've got a low fan mode and a and a high fan mode i don't know if you can hear that and then a long long press in on the switch to switch it off so maybe let's just put this handle on the torch you can always tell well machined parts they just fit together and they just seem to always fit and work nicely and there it is it's also got a shoulder carrier so again just thinking about weight it's got a clip here there a little o-ring there and then an o-ring here so you can even carry it around the shoulder this thing is heavy and i'm sure it would get heavier as time goes on and the longer you hold it for this x70 is a party or show stopper i think this thing is going to really blow our minds uh, i'm just really stoked at the opportunity to be able to have confidence in my torches out there in the bush in today's day and age with the led lighting advancing as quickly and as fast and as hardcore as it has there are so many lighting opportunities for us out there so i think if anything um let's check these torches out tonight check this out It is our last night in Gwenya and I thought what better way to show you just how cool these lights are from Ace Beam than to cast them out across the Crocodile River at Nguenya. I'm going to show you a couple of distances, 350 meters, 450 meters, 500 meters and then 600 meters onwards. This is not a scientific review by any means so bear with me um, but let's start with the L18. This Ace Beam L18 torch is a fantastic little torch. You can store it near enough anywhere in your vehicle. It has four modes, inclusive of the strobe light mode. This is intensity one, intensity two, intensity three, strobe light mode, and then the all impressive turbo mode. So five modes to this torch. Um, something to bear in mind that after three minutes of usage with this torch, it does dip down from turbo mode 
to um, high level three. This torch does get very hot. It gets hot to the touch after three minutes of usage and at 15 minutes usage, you can really feel it. I think what we've got to bear in mind is that with the Osram LEDs and the technology that they've got going on into such a small little form factor, I think that this sort of thing is inevitable. Um, it does carry a 5100 milliamp hour battery. It is a 1500 lumens light caster of solid beam. And I mean, it is it, it really does throw a proper solid light beam. Um, and it is a spotlight. So great for tactical or hunting purposes and is a torch I'm very, very stoked to keep in my vehicle. You could get roughly, I reckon, about two hours usage on this torch before you um, run out of battery and maybe less if it gets too hot to the touch. But an impressive little torch to say the least and I can't believe that Ace Beam have packed so much into such a small little torch. It's said to get to about a thousand meters from the test that I've done during this whole 19 day trip. Um, I'd say from what I can see visually, I'd say 900 meters thereabouts. Um, but like I said, it's not a scientific review. This is just from a practical review. And I think that any light that can get me from 250 meters to 400 meters with a good sweet spot of 300 meters does its job and does a very good job. Um, from that point on, visually, I can't really see what's going on out there. It might be my old age with these eyes beginning to fail on me. I don't know, but a great little torch and one for your arsenal for sure. Cool, moving on to the T27, the Ace Beam T27. This is, um, I would say, out of the two, my favorite torch. And I'll tell you why, it's got a much bigger head um, with this silver composite. It, it does not get too hot to the touch. In fact, it barely gets hot at all. They've done a really great job in keeping this thing cool. Um, it also has a USB uh, C charger, so that's quite nice. Whereas the L18 does not have a, a charger, so I have to shuffle batteries. So bear that in mind, if you get the L18, ask for a charger for your lithium battery, whichever size you end up choosing. Um, the 5100 milliamp hour battery, make sure you get that charger because yeah, that'll help you. Um, with this one, you can plug straight into USB-C and it'll charge, which is great. It also has the five modes, inclusive of the light strobe and turbo mode. Um, and it has a tactical button as well as with the L18, have a tactical button at the back to press on for immediate turbo light. Um, it is a great light. It is a very light torch and it was a favorite on last night's game drive. So the T27, highly recommended. It does come, both torches come with a little case, uh, nothing too special, uh, lanyards and O-rings for the torches, spare O-rings, that sort of thing. Uh, not too much else really to say about the T27. Uh, it does kick out a really nice solid beam. It's 2500 lumens that it kicks out. Um, solid beam of light and that stretches to about the 1.15 kilometer range. Again, at 900 meters, I know the light was reaching there, but I couldn't really see what I was looking at at 900 meters. Um, and it did pick up eyes at about the 800 meter mark. So I know that this thing is reaching that sort of distance. Um, and yeah, just a really nice torch because it kicks out a nice three meter side beam to the main consistent beam in the center. So you get a bit of light spill, which is always nice around camp. T27, look it up. Okay, the showstopper, the X70, this torch is on loan to me just to experiment and play around with. I mean, thank you, Calvin. This is a great torch to your arsenal of torches. It is an expensive torch. And out of the three torches, this thing is just non-comparable to the other two. But the simple reason is that this thing kicks out 60,000 lumens of light. And as a result, this whole um, head here gets very, very hot. It kicks out a turbo mode for 55 seconds and then it starts to dip down from 60,000 lumens to 25,000 lumens of light. Um, and it does come with a handle. I think just at 60,000 lumens, look man, you are not going to keep this thing cool and it does get very hot. It is a heavy torch, but 
this is a really impressive light caster this is not like the other two it's said to have a distance of the same roughly a kilometer but look listen i think that the light is so impressive in the close-up range that you're not looking that far it is like a floodlight it really is a serious bit of kit it also has a 10 meters water resistance so uh, might be a good light if you are a deep sea diver or someone like that um, it has a complete self-contained battery it's not like the 5100 milliamp hour separate um, batteries this is one whole unit in here you can get the battery out by screwing the whole handle off um, but for charging purposes what I do is I just undo this little threaded cap on the top you plug in the port here and it charges it takes about two hours to charge from completely flat which I think is fairly impressive it also uses Osram LEDs and um, it's really nice to know that this thing has inside a thermal regulator so when it realizes that it's not as hot anymore it'll bump the light back up to a um, level that's suitable to the heat that it's kicking out so an active thermal regulator is also built into this which is quite something else but last night on the game drive everyone wanted this thing out when the lions were around they just wanted to get good photos and this torch just did its job and did a fantastic one at that so really really impressive bit of kit but i'll tell you what i'm going to do now rather than talking i think let me just show you what these things do i'm going to kick them out across the crocodile river and um, let's see how they perform okay so this tree here is about 20 meters away from where i'm seated anything past this tree it just goes to river and then river bank on the far side so let's go to turbo mode you can see that intensity shift and that tree that you see in the background there that is 350 meters and then we'll just move along well i just saw some eyes over there i don't know if you can see them there but there's some eyes there so 350 meters it picks up eyes that is 400 meters that tree over there is 400 meters away that tree over there I don't know if you can see this in the camera now but that's 500 meters 510 520 meters there let's just go with 500 and then anything thereafter at the corner of that tree there that's 700 meters and I don't think you're picking this up in the camera but yeah all in all you can see just the kind of light that this L18 kicks out. Very impressive. Very, very, very impressive. I mean, clear visibility, 200 meters for sure. Very, very clear. But very hot to the touch. A very, very, very hot little torch. Okay, this is the T27 Ace Beam torch. That is at 20 meters and this is high level 3. Let's go to turbo mode. There you go, that's turbo mode. And you can see the fall off light with the leaves above very nice so it's got quite a nice wide fall off but there you go that tree out there that is 350 meters you can see it there and moving along that's the 400 meter mark that tree over there and moving along it's your 500 meter mark Thereabouts. and moving along the 600, 600 to 700 meter mark out that way so yeah like I say a very very nice light with the fall off and there's some eyes there in the grass I don't know if you can see that they just disappeared might be a bush buck or something but yeah just a very very nice torch and uh Definitely a good one to have around camp. That's for sure just because of the fall off. I think the fall off makes this torch a Very nice torch that bush there is about 30 meters from me And that tree is about 50 meters from me. This is the torch at uh, high level 3 And I mean just look at that eh? So I think that's kicking out 25,000 lumens 
and I mean just look at that look at how wide the spread of light is it's just it's wow this is definitely a wild torch I mean it's, it's like daylight so that is at high level intensity 3 this is at turbo which is the showstopper I reckon and there it is so not too much of a drastic change from and all the hojos are pulling in now um, this torch be with it being a flood like torch everything in the front in the foreground just gets illuminated I mean there's eyes I can see all the crocs eyes in the river um, but yeah it's a it does make the 350 mark easy and with everything being illuminated in the foreground I just think it makes it difficult to see anything past that that 150 meter mark to 200 meter mark but the light is just impressive and all the hokos are pulling in so it is this is one of those torches that you just have to it's one of those things you, you, you just have to see what it does it's, I mean, it's pretty impressive but yeah the X70 I'm going to turn it off now because I just can't take these hojos. Okay, so in conclusion, well, look, listen, I'm not really a torch guy, so I don't know if this helps you at all in any way, but what I can say is um, these are definitely more new age type torches than I'm used to. Um, I think the only downside that I have to these torches is none of them have a retractable head, so they can't go from a wide beam to a very narrow beam, which ideally would be very suited to the kind of overlanding and adventuring that I do. Um, that being said, I prefer the T27 out of all of them and I'll tell you why, just because for the price it costs and what you get kind of falls in that bracket that is something I might be looking at. The X70 is definitely worth its weight in gold. It is a very heavy torch and it does get very hot very quickly but I mean, it's just something to witness. 60,000 lumens, uh, it's, it's, it's something to see. And guys, I'm telling you now, the camera does this stuff no justice at all. So believe me when I say that all three of these torches perform very admirably. I like the quick fun functionality with the L18 and the T27 on the back. Just nice to be able to get to. So all in all, very happy with the Ace Beam product. I think it is a nice competitor to the other torch ranges that are out there. And like I say, head on over to Jexry. It is a Peter Maritzburg based company and they will be able to sort you out with any kind of lighting you guys might need. And the best thing about it is that you use my coupon code and you get a nice 10% discount. And I make a little bit of something on the top for that beer I might buy on the weekend. So if you are looking to update your torches, Help me, uh, support me by making your next purchase and use that purchase code. It will help me and uh, I can guarantee that if these are not the torches for you, then you will find what you are looking for on their website. So guys, as always, uh, stay safe, keep trucking. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And um, yeah, I know this was something different, but like I say, it's nice to have a new uh, product supporter on board with the channel and thanks to you guys for making it happen and as always so lucky to see you out there in the kruger i'm ryan and this is for buffalo ventures